Too often, the miracle of dental implants is obscured by the investment that the patient must make in this life-changing procedure. To be perfectly candid, permanent tooth replacement can cost more than traditional treatment options. In the long run, however, you must compare the benefits of having a strong, reliable, safe and aesthetically pleasing solution to tooth loss with the potential need to continually replace or upgrade the traditional options on an ongoing basis throughout the balance of your life. Between the time that you first visit the office of your highly trained dental specialist and the day you begin to use your new teeth for the very first time, many weeks will have passed. During that period of treatment, your particular needs will have been assessed and reassessed as the prosthesis is custom created for your mouth. The goal of every solution to permanent tooth replacement should be a complete harmony between the patient and his teeth. They should perform as well as, if not better than the original teeth that were lost. They should be biologically sound, without sacrificing the integrity of the surrounding teeth. And above all, they should be pleasing and natural to the eye for the patient and for those who come in contact with the patient. Against those criteria, traditional treatment options requiring the grinding down of adjacent teeth cannot be compared to dental implants. The unique characteristics of permanent tooth replacement using Bronomark system by their very nature give patients greater confidence than has ever been possible before, and because of that, make the investment in a permanent solution to tooth loss the only viable choice. Your dental implant supported teeth are unique to you. They're created to conform to your face and jaw characteristics, the contours and bite of the existing teeth, even the color of the teeth that surround them. Your dental specialist does not take them off the shelf and retrofit them to your needs. A team, including dozens of trained professionals working under stringent controls, carefully builds your prosthesis using techniques that are both time-tested and technically advanced to include the best materials available. Let's take a quick look at this extensive process involving more than 90 individual steps. Your initial consultation begins with completing the forms necessary for treatment. This includes a medical, dental and social history, plus a mutual understanding regarding treatment desires. Next, x-rays including a full mouth series, cephalometric and Panorex radiograph. Then, alginate impressions are taken. For the denture wearer, they must be taken with and without your dentures. These impressions are taken to the laboratory and poured up immediately for use in your consultation with the dental specialist and office patient coordinator. Your first visit also includes pre-op diagnostic photographs, periodontal probing, cancer screening, mobility testing, a study of your facial symmetry, shade analysis of your existing teeth and selection for your new prosthesis, a study of your occlusal vertical dimension, a temporal mandibular joint screening, a conference with the attending doctor and staff to review the findings of the x-rays, the compiled information contained in your forms, your impressions, and the oral examination. His findings, particularly those having to do with occlusion, alignment and aesthetics, and especially bone level availability, ultimately lead to a recommendation for the course of treatment. It may be at the end of your first visit or at a second visit that your treatment plan is fully discussed. You may be presented with several options. First, the ideal treatment plan. Then, if possible, alternate treatment plans based on your needs or financial situation. Whatever your choice, it is added to a computer base so that it can be tracked as part of an ongoing study by dental health providers. You'll have a formal consultation with a patient coordinator or administrator to review all clinical and financial aspects of the treatment option you've chosen. You'll receive videotapes and literature detailing the next step in your treatment plan and schedule your next appointment. Your next visit begins the most dynamic steps in the treatment process. Surgery to prepare the site for placement of the titanium implants that will become the foundation for permanent tooth replacement. After surgery, you are given instructions on prescriptions if needed and temporary diet restrictions. Your next appointment is also scheduled. Several visits later, we begin the initial steps in the creation of your prosthesis. 
Additional structural elements integral to the Brownamark system are custom fitted to the Osseo integrated implants. On these, the dental specialist will place a temporary prosthetic component. You'll have your first look at a prototype of your future smile. From this temporary prosthesis, a conversion prosthesis begins to take form. The next step in the creation of your conversion prosthesis begins with the placement of brass analogs and long guide pins. The voids are filled with soft acrylic resin and the entire prosthesis is pressure pot cured. After curing, the guide pins and analogs are removed, the excess hardened acrylic is trimmed, and the unit is shaped and contoured for trial placement in your mouth. When the prosthesis is returned to your mouth, it is fastened to the titanium abutments with gold retaining screws. Articulating paper is used for checking occlusion and adjustments are made if necessary by adding or subtracting acrylic. After verifying the bite, the conversion prosthesis is polished. Then, the long access angulation of the teeth is evaluated for general aesthetics. Criteria include the midline, the incisal edge position, opposing teeth, and soft tissue to lip support. Notations are made for future use by the laboratory technicians. A tray setup is prepared for the alginate impression of the opposing teeth. After completion of the impression, a process that takes less than a minute, the alginate impression is taken back to the laboratory. Now begins the process of the master impression of the implants. First, a custom impression tray is constructed to precisely fit the patient's mouth. A hard plastic sheet is placed inside a vacuum machine and melted with an electronic heater so that it can be molded by the force of the vacuum. With the vacuum activated, the plastic is adapted to the stone cast of your mouth. The finished mold is removed, rinsed with cold water, and trimmed. The new custom-sized impression tray is removed from the model. Its borders are refined and the molded plastic is again placed in the mouth of the patient for a series of fittings which allow the specialist to adjust any overextensions, cut windows for screw access, and clinically verify screw access. These windows are then covered with a wax sheet. The custom impression tray is filled with a catalyst and base resilient impression material, or in some cases a special impression plaster, is carefully positioned in the mouth of the patient. This process takes approximately 8 minutes. The guide pin screws are then exposed, reversed, and taken out, and the new impression is removed from the mouth. To this impression, the brass abutment analogs are securely and accurately fastened with long guide pins in preparation for construction of the master cast. This assembly is then cast by first boxing the impression, by applying a wax material around the impression borders, a vacuum mix of precisely measured powder and liquid is prepared and the model poured with a refined dye stone. The impression is placed on a vibrator table to remove trapped air and provide a bubble-free casting. After 30 minutes, the boxing wax is removed along with the laboratory guide pins. The master cast is retrieved from the impression. Excess stone is trimmed on the water-cooled model trimmer. The conversion prosthesis is then fitted to the master cast and the connection of the prosthetic cylinders to the brass analogs is verified. The occlusion is checked and adjusted on the conversion prosthesis. This entire assembly is fitted to the face bow transfer bite fork. The opposing cast is mounted to the upper member of the articulator. After checking for precise alignment, the face bow is removed and the master cast is positioned using the conversion prosthesis to align it with the maxillary cast. After the plaster sets, it is separated and the looting wax cleaned. The conversion prosthesis is then removed from the master cast, steam cleaned and disinfected. The patient's small incisions are suture closed and the conversion prosthesis is put in place using gold flathead screws. Carefully tightened with an electric torque control machine and the screw access holes are temporarily sealed. The patient's occlusion is checked once again 
The conversion prosthesis receives another alginate impression and shade selection is made for the final prosthesis. The patient is then released after being given post-op and oral hygiene instructions. Final laboratory work is now authorized with written instructions for the technicians on construction of the final prosthesis. The laboratory begins the final stages of your implant supported restoration with the selection of the appropriate prosthetic gold cylinders. Fabrication of your framework begins with evaluating the placement of the gold cylinders and determining the strongest and most appropriate method of building this substructure. The framework pattern must be designed to allow for casting in gold. Small tubes or sprues are carefully added to the wax up to provide a pathway for the casting process. This waxed up version is then invested by placing the positive version in a metal ring, painting the delicate areas to ensure a complete bubble free investment. The mold is carefully topped off with a prepared investment material using a vacuum mold and a vibrating table. After being invested, the mold is placed in a calibrated burnout oven and heated to a temperature of 1450 degrees Fahrenheit. This step, called burning out, causes the pattern to melt and evaporates the wax out of the mold, creating a negative version of the framework. Next, the frame is cast in a process similar to that used in the creation of fine gold jewelry. The gold is heated to a temperature of 2150 degrees Fahrenheit and then spun into the mold using centrifugal force. After cooling, the framework is carefully broken out of the cast and sandblasted to remove all of the investment material. The framework is cleaned, shaped, and inspected. At this point, it must fit the master cast perfectly. The framework is then polished and inspected under a microscope. The patient must return for a gold casting try-in and an aesthetic positioning of the teeth. This last testing procedure, which finalizes the structure beneath the finished prosthesis, involves the removal of the conversion prosthesis, checking the stability of the implants and abutments using sterile technique, and the placement of the final gold casting. This try-in process includes inspection under visual magnification, radiograph or x-ray verification using an intraoral and panorex film, and clinical verification of the midline. After confirming the satisfactory position of the teeth, the patient is refitted with a conversion prosthesis and given a review of proper oral hygiene technique. The final prosthesis casting is returned to the laboratory for the placement of the porcelain or the veneering of the teeth. The patient returns to the office for placement of the final prosthesis. After removal of the cavet and cotton, the gold screws and the conversion prosthesis, the final prosthesis is seated with gold retaining screws. Centric, protrusive, and lateral excursions of the bite and chewing functions are adjusted. At the same time, occlusion is adjusted and occasionally verified with a T-scan if necessary. Having reached a successful placement of the final prosthesis in terms of system integrity, the final aesthetic refinements are made. Your dental implants must function like real teeth and look like real teeth, so this stage of the placement includes final recontouring and sculpting, final color adjustment, and special characterizing to the prosthetic teeth in your mouth. The final porcelain is again fired in a computerized furnace and bench cooled. Gold bars that prevent warping through the many high heat firing steps are removed. The gold casting is refined and finally polished, steam cleaned and disinfected. The final prosthesis is now ready for delivery to the patient and will be fastened with gold screws which are properly torqued. To complete the documentation, clinical photographs are taken, as well as an alginate impression and a panorex radiograph, lateral cephalometric film, as well as intraoral x-rays. Oral hygiene is reviewed and functional instructions are given. Lastly, future maintenance procedures and schedules are reviewed. The process you began many weeks ago has come to a new beginning. Throughout the process, your dental specialist, his staff, 
and countless highly trained professionals who work behind the scenes using hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of state-of-the-art equipment and techniques have worked tirelessly to create a dental implant prosthesis which is totally unique to you your mouth your facial characteristics and even the color of your existing teeth in future visits your teeth and gums will be checked for proper oral hygiene you will be given the finest care and instruction in the maintenance of your dental implants more than anything else you'll know the joy of eating again anything your heart desires you'll feel more confident around others and you'll fall in love with life again honestly can you put a price on that